Barco care. Nobody else cares, but we do. So much fun you'll never want to leave. Patient safety is top priority. Features pools of water, free food, and quality entertainment. There's always hope. Hmm. You know that's propaganda, right? Um, are you talking to me? That hospital don't care about you. They care about two things. Money and looking good. They don't want you to know that place is actually a slaughterhouse. They cut you up. They rip you open. Stick you with needles and leave you organless. I know it to be true. I seen it. I seen what goes on in that... that madhouse. Don't you think it's weird nobody ever comes out of there? Mr. Ill, the doctor will see you now. I'm very sorry, sir. I hope things get better for you. It never gets better, kid. Never. Never. So, Mr. Ill, what seems to be the problem? There's no problem. I just came for a checkup. Ah, uh, okay. How are you feeling today, sir? I'm fine, I guess. Thanks. Okay, let's take your temperature. Keep it underneath your tongue and hold still, okay? Ah, good. Looks normal. Alright, now let's take your heart rate and blood pressure. Hmm, that looks normal too. But, just to be safe, I'm going to take a blood sample. Come with me to the lab. Once again, looks pretty normal to me, but we still will have it tested. We will send the results via mail within five business days. That'll be five hundred dollars. What? Are you serious? My heart rate was over 600 beats per minute, and my blood has weird green things in it. Did I stutter, fella? I said $500. Thanks. Have a nice day, kid. Just call me up when you're feeling worse. Sorry, did I say that? I mean, if. Um, you too. Thanks, Doc. I really didn't think I was gonna make it. No other hospital would listen. I didn't think I was gonna get out of this alive. Well, that's what makes us unlike everywhere else. Our patients are our priority. Oh, Doc, this world is so lucky to have you. And <laughs> don't you worry about medical bills. Our healthcare is free of charge. We refuse to let anything keep you away from happiness, health, and prosperity. But Doc, how are your workers going to make a living off of unpaid labor when more than half the nation is in debilitating debt? Hey bro, that's not your line. Boo! You suck! If you're gonna be unrealistic, at least keep up the illusion! This is dumb. Why are we being unrealistic anyway? Well bro, fiction is rarely what actually happens. It's what we think and wish would happen, not what happens in reality. But that's not even accurate. A lot of the time, fiction is used to represent real life in the form of metaphors and symbolism. Oh, that thought, bro. Do you hear that? Hey, little shits! Get the fuck out here! I gotta talk to you! Bro, is this about the hand sanitizer dispenser? 
as I have a very good reason for that, bro. No, it's about... The what? Nothing! I'm here to tell you something, Uni. I need you and your little girlfriend, Caroline. Dude! We're literally both gay, bro! To be on your best behaviors. Because we are having a new patient being admitted soon. We can't deal with any of your shenanigans. A new, new patient? patient? Yes. We need to put him through evaluation and have him situated. And the last thing he needs is more stress from you. Oh man, what if he likes video games? Her microwaving plastic and blowing shit up? We can recruit him to our swag squad, bro. We can be a trio, bro. You will not be doing anything of the sort. You two will leave him alone until he's situated. Or there will be dire consequences. <laughs> You heard the man! Don't even think about dragging this random guy into your messes! Dude, quit being such a bossy sourpuss. I'm not being bossy. I'm trying to stop you two from getting us all killed! You know what they do when patients break rules! It's not that big of a deal. Your life is a big deal! Our lives are big deals! I'm gonna keep that guy safe if it's the last thing I do! He's probably a grown man. He doesn't need protection. That's easy for you to say. You don't even take care of yourself. Hey, gals, can we relax a bit? Remember, Cuddles said to stay away only until he's situated. We can visit him once everything settles down. Thank you so very much. Hello there, little pal. Good to stuff. Good mornings. Did you have a nice nap? Huh? You sure went up like a light. I hope you're all rested now. Uh, where... where am I? You are in the Sparkle Care Hospital, friend. The most trusted and amazing healthcare corp and medical manufacturer in Countryland Country. And everyone knows that Countryland Country is the best and most powerful country in the world. We beat everyone else. Nowhere else can compare to our talent and stunning expertise. Why did the ambulance... how did... I'm confused. No need to be confused, little friend. Let's get you checked in. Officer Deez is probably sleeping, but she sleeps most of the time. I'm sure she won't mind. Dee Dee, I don't know if the doc told you, but we have a new patient. He just got here a few minutes ago, but he needs to go for security. Oh, yeah, he told me. I didn't know that he would be here today. Where are they at? Here he is, the star of the show, in the flesh. He's a little nervous, though, so be nice. Aw, he's so cute. Hey, little guy. He's so puny. I, I am not. He's pretty adorable, huh? But not as adorable as you are. Dee Dee! We're working! Right, then, may I see your bag? I'm afraid I have to confiscate it. Wh why Possessions policy. To ensure patient safety. Uh, okay, uh, fine. Just don't read my books, please. <laughs> Tam, you're broke. Yeah, I'm in college. Okay, you're clean. You two run along and see Nurse Snare. She'll help you get all checked in. Thanks again, Dee Dee! Anytime, Moo Moo. Hey, Squeakers, can you fill out this form for the patient? Can do, ma'am. Can you tell me your full name, friend? Barry Ari Ill. How old are you? 26 and 5 months. Sex? What? Does sex? What? Tell me something about yourself. Oh, why I'm glad you asked. I'm a physics major at CLC Tech University. I really love physics and psychology, all sorts of science in general actually. Chemistry, geology, botany, ecology, astronomy, biology, microbiology, everything! 
Do you need to know my medical history? I've never been here before. Nope. Well, when I was a baby, I got an illness that made me lose all my fur, so I was completely bald for two years. Also occurring when I was a baby, my parents left me unsupervised and I ate a glow stick, and now I can't taste anything. I had a form of pink eye called purple eye once. I got sick a lot. A whole lot. Also, I'm pretty sure that I'm missing some organs, but I don't remember which ones. Duly noted. I think I've got everything. A doctor will be seeing you soon. I'm sorry. What? Did someone say... Doctor! A doctor, a doctor? Did somebody call? I think she said doctor. Was it one or them all? What's going on out there? What's going on here? We've got a new patient. Can't you smell his fear? What's he in here for? What are we gonna do? What do you guys think? I bet I've got a clue. How about we take a hacksaw and chop him to bits? Hey bro, are you sure it's a good idea to leave without telling Himera and Jay? It's been three hours. Surely new guy has been situated by now. Come on, I got it covered. This should be the place. Swag! Hey dude, welcome to the- Stay back! Stay away! Don't touch me! Stay back! Get away! Well, someone's having a bad day. What happened to his clothes? Hey there, dude. Are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm fine. Uh, I'm fine. Every everything's okay. Everything's perfect. Everything's g great. Just great. Everything's p perfect. Lovely. N never been better. G great. What's your name, dude? Um, okay. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Nothing. Nothing wrong. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Nothing. 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 <laughs> Nothing. I can't get much out of him. I'm bad at comfort. Could you give it a shot, dude? Sure, bro. <clears throat> hey, bro. It seems like you're not having a swaggy time right now, which is really epic fail, bro. Sometimes the console crashes and you lose all your progress and it's the least boss thing ever, bro. It's a real arrow to the knee, bro. Sometimes we feel like forever alone guy and everything is unswaggy and bossless. But we keep going, cause as true gamers say, a game over is really just a chance to game under. Wh what? Bro, to have not gamed over, I think you're a god's epic win. What? Wh what are you saying? Bro, I am offering supportive dialogues in hopes of filling up your health bar, bro. That did not make any more sense than the last thing you said. Sorry, Uni speaks fluent gamer. Does he always talk like that? No. Right now, I think Uni is trying to confuse and distract you. I g g guess it's working. Do you think you feel comfortable enough to talk now? Not really, but I can, I guess. Why did you come here? Do you know? Who sent you to this place? I came here voluntarily. 
I thought it was gonna be better than the other doctor I saw. I was so, so unbelievably wrong. I, I read a brochure saying it was good here. I can't believe I could be that stupid. It's not your fault, bro. You didn't know it'd be so terrible here, bro. We didn't either, bro. Why did you two come here? Whenever a citizen has an illness that primary care doctors can't deal with, they usually send their patients here to be institutionalized. That's what's messed up. They think us going here will somehow be good for us, and that it's better we're locked up here rather than spreading diseases to others. Like a quarantine? Or a prison? Well, you've seen what they've done to us. Probably a sick combination of both. Wow, bro. That sounds awful. And now you're here, where they want to help you even less. What were the outside docs I knew to help you with, bro? I... I don't know. I don't even remember anymore. I just know I had really extreme symptoms, and there's no way these guys will ever help me either. Bro. Yeah, dude? We need to get him out of here. What? You heard me, bro. It's not safe for him here. We need to get him out of here and to tell the outside world the truth. Dude, you know how many times we've tried to escape and failed miserably. Remember what happened? Yeah, but I have a good feeling about it this time. I can feel in my bones, bro. Besides, don't you want to show Himera that you can take care of someone else? I hope you have a plan. Truthfully, I don't. But that doesn't mean we can't come up with one. Do you know your way around the building? Positively. Been here nine years. But I know something that will help us more. For you. Your broness. Why give it to me? I can't read it. Why not? I have no fucking eyes. Okay, no need to swear at me. Okay, so we are here. We need to find a way to get here. Could we dig our way out, bro? With what? Our hands, bro. How are you going to dig through linoleum with your hands? One of my arms is really strong. Does this place have a ventilation system? A who what now? It's like, you know, vents that transport air, like that thing, those. Oh, you mean those coolie things? See, that vent is right there. These blue lines are the ventilation ducts. We could escape through these. How big are they? Most likely not very big, if they're the same as other modern ventilation installments. We'd probably have to crawl through them, though. Bros, how are we gonna get up there? Hey bro, do you want me to help you up? I could probably... Here, catch! Well, that was eventful. Okay, now get up here. <laughs> wow, tight. Move! Make room for your frickin' friend! Okay, so where are we going, bro? We should be approaching a fork in the ventilation ducts. A fork? Shut up. We need to go through the one on the left. Uh, your left or my left? We're facing in the same direction, man. So your left? My left is the same as your left. I'm right behind you. So it's my left, bro? It's the same freaking left as yours. It's my left too, dude. Which hand do you write with? I can't write or read, bro. I can't see anything. I have an idea. Dude, which hand do you beat off with? Oh, this one, bro. Go in that direction. You mean left, bro? Why, <laughs> you could have just said so. I'm very quickly realizing your maturity levels. I hate this fucking job. I'm underpaid, have terrible hours, and my boss is a capitalist shithead. I could be going out on dates with hot girls, but instead I have to dissect innocent civilians. I don't know why Sis wants us to keep this job so bad. And the fucking patients drive me up the wall. Those purple and blue ones, always terrorizing me with their sick entertainment. And the yellow and red ones, who never do anything wrong. I can't stand them. And now there's that green one. Ah! 
Ah, I see how it is. Trying to escape, are we? I don't think so. Caroline! Uni? I should have known you two had something to do with this. You're not going anywhere! You know, there's a reason we separated you two from being roommates. You caused so much needless trouble. Okay, let's get you back to your room, purple one, and this guy back to his room. Bro, wait! What? You put him in an empty room, bro. I don't think it's a good idea for him to be alone. He was pretty upset when we first saw him in there. C can you room him with another patient? Please, bro. <sighs> I'll room him with you. If he's scared of us, then he won't be any less scared with you. Thank you, bro. Bro, you know what this means? We're roommates! There you go again! You never learn, do you? Oh, brother, what do you want? One more stunt like that and Doom's gonna kill that guy and you! If we can get him out of here, he won't ever have to deal with this place again. I'm gonna help him escape. Hey guys, you talking about escaping? Yeah, Uni and I are trying to get the new guy out of here. Oh yeah? I can help. Uh, I don't... I actually don't think that's a good idea, Jay. Why don't you want them to help? The same reason I don't want you doing it! It's going to get us all in trouble! There's no need to drag them into it! Oh really? You weren't this pushy with the rest of us. Listen, you know why I'm worried about them. Yeah, I get it now. They're disabled, so they need your protection, huh? That's not what I- I'm ready to roll! So, I can see you're not very tidy. Yeah, sorry bro. I would have straightened up a bit if I knew I was having company. Here. Um, what are you doing? What do you mean, bro? How are you moving that without touching it? Oh, I'm half unicorn. You're what? Yeah, bro. What'd you think this was for? I thought it was a little funny hat. Nope, it's a horn. That's not even scientifically possible. Unicorns don't exist. That would be a swaggy world to live in. I wish I didn't exist. You're not a unicorn. Okay, bro. What am I then? Unnecessarily vulgar and messy. You are a goblin. Goblins don't exist either. One can hope. All right, Mr. Fax. I won't argue with you. Good, Mr. Fiction. Because I'm right. But I think you're gonna have to get used to vulgarity on a place like this, bro. We're in the gutter of the world, bro. If you can't keep your room clean, at least clean up your mouth. I can already tell this guy isn't gonna like me. He's weird, but for some reason I kind of like him. I don't think I even got your name. Oh, my name's Uni, bro. Uni S. Cornelius, like Unicorn. Hi, I'm Barry. Barry Ill. That's a funny name, bro. I get that a lot. Oh, uh, sorry, I, uh, don't really like touching people's hands. Oh, no problem, bro. I'll remember that next time. Just throw something at me if I forget, bro. Thank you for understanding. Most people get offended. I'm not offended, bro. I have weird random stuff that bugs me too. Certain textures and sounds freak me out. Hiya there, little guy. How's it going? So, you wanna be up there with the butterflies, huh? I'm sorry to tell you, but that's not realistic. You are but a mere worm, not a caterpillar. Despite that, you're still wonderful just the way you are. Everything you do and have to offer to the world is a blessing. Even though you aren't a caterpillar, you are the most treasured thing this world could have. A unique, interesting individual. And that is why you must perish! Sister! The doc wants us in his office to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Why can't you be like that to the people who actually matter? Everyone matters, bro bro. Not just the innocent groups of people our boss wants to harm. Why aren't they running from you? You just killed one of their kind right in front of their eyes. They didn't see nothing. What does the doc want, bro bro? Work assessment. Okie dokie. Uh, 
twins. I've been expecting you. How are your assignments for the day going? I gave all the patients their morning pills. I also made sure Uni took his gummy supplements. Everyone is still taking their IVs out. I'm putting the pain inducers in their daily meds to make up for that, sis. Have either of you been down to the warehouse level? How's the manufacturing? Are the other medical centers getting their tampered medical tools? Judging by all the influx of newly admitted patients recently, I'm sure of it, Doc. Good. That means things should continue going smoothly. The more businesses we wipe out for malpractice, the stronger we become. Speaking of patients, how is the new patient, the green one? Uh... What? What did you do, rat? Um, you see, Caroline and Uni tried to bust him out. B I stopped them! They're locked in their rooms now. We need to keep them on constant watch! We cannot risk losing any more patients! With, with all due respect, Doc, nothing really happens when patients escape. You know nobody ever believes them. And we must keep it that way! Do you know what would happen if large numbers were to speak out about what we do here? What it would do to our business? You pathetic morons wouldn't just lose your jobs, you'd lose your lives! And you best believe it won't be the police or the court that rids you from this world. I will make you wish you'd never been born. Am I clear, Mr. Doom? Transparent as ever, Doc. Go monitor them immediately. We aren't taking any chances. <clears throat> uh, hello? Uh, Rem? Could I ask a favor of you, my dear? I'm not sucking your dick. It's work-related! I don't know, Doc. You seem very eager to put that in my paycheck. I have better things to do, like being a responsible mother to my daughter and not sucking up to a sleazebag like you. We are at risk of a security breach, Rem. Three patients attempted to escape just now, and were barely caught by one of our nurses. I need you to keep watch. Got it. And as for you lot, check out those rooms. I don't want anyone picking locks. Hey dudes, you miss me? How did you unlock the door? Pick the lock. I carry these around because I chew on them a lot. Bad habits coming in handy. What's the plan, bro? Come see. Whoa, bro, that thing looks badass. Thanks, hop on guys. Jay, are you sure about this? Y you should all at least wear helmets. It's just an indoor scooter, it's not dangerous. I wouldn't be so sure. Where are we going? Let's head towards the ER. We can probably outrun staff and get out the exit this way. I'm on it! Okay, you keep an eye on Caroline, and I'll deal with the purple one. Are you sure, bro bro? Uni doesn't like you very much. Yeah, but you need to watch one, and the girlish ones are more harmless. We're not girls! You okay, bro bro? You look tired. Very funny. <sighs> yeah. I'm fantastic, sis. What the fuck are you doing on the ground? Go after them! Get back here, you little beasts! Seize them! Jay, why'd you stop? I didn't want to hit her. But you completely ran over that other guy. Well, yeah, he's a dick. You won't escape this time! Bro, why aren't we moving? I don't know. Maybe it's... Oh, no. It's out of battery. What? what? You really thought you could get away, didn't you? How sad. This hospital is the only place you belong. The doctors from the outside world will never care for you. Just look how some of you have been here for years, and nobody's come looking for any of you. Nobody else cares about you, and they never will. <laughs> How you doing over there, bro? This whole thing was pointless. How is it pointless, bro? 
You guys have been here trying to escape for literal years, and it's never worked! Me being here isn't suddenly gonna make a difference. Bro, I don't know you very well, but with you here, we've made more progress in one day than me, Carrie, and... me and Carrie have made since three years ago. The thing about me and Carrie is... we're not very competent, bro. We're reckless, and our plans are never coordinated enough. So, everything just always falls through. You're smart, and actually want to help us. The mayor is smart too. Even she knows our plans always fail because we're just... idiots. I don't think you're... idiots? How could a unicorn with magic powers not know how to get out of a damn building and not be an idiot, bro? Wait a minute. Wait one frickin' minute. I just got an idea! Uni, does your bed have a sheet? Uh, yeah, it's not very clean though, bro. We could make one of those blanket ladders and escape out of the window, like in cartoons. I can do the math for it. Uh, why does that require math, bro? Well, there's several factors that come into play. Part one, building the ladder. In order to craft this device, we would need to know one, the height of the building, two, the dimensions of these hospital bed sheets, three, all of our combined weights, and four, all of our strengths in order to determine who is capable of holding all of our combined weights supported by these blankets. How much do you weigh? I never lift, bro. That wasn't quite what I asked, but I suppose now I know your strength. Good enough. Okay, now we just need more sheets. Do you have any other ways to pick the door locks? We could get them from the other rooms. Oh, uh, actually, bro, I have a lot of spare sheets in my closet. You couldn't possibly have enough. What the heck did you need so many for? Uh, you don't want to know, bro. Here, I'll go get our friends. Okay, now get this window open. It doesn't seem to have any locks, but isn't openable. Hey bro, let's get swaggin'. You know, I wonder if I could just break the glass. Uh, hey bro, maybe I should do that for you. You might get hurt if you... <laughs> ah! uh, oh, okay! Can you go a little faster? I'm going as fast as I can, bro. I'm nervous about heights. First. Hey, Uni, it's Tensei. That means it's time for your... Oh, you motherfuckers. I'll skin you and turn you into luxury furniture and sell you on the internet. Hope you got nine lives. Very sick. I remembered you didn't like being touched by people's hands, bro. What is this respecting people's boundaries shit? You two, after them! Okay, what's the plan now? We need to tell somebody the truth. The world needs to know. Look, there's a police officer over there! Perfect! Come on! No, we haven't found them yet. Stop calling. Officer, please help us. Wow, what happened to you lot? Sir, we're escaped patients from the Sparkle Care Hospital. That place is horrible. They tortured all of us. They kill their patients. They try to kill us! And now they're out looking for us right now. You need to help us. The public needs to know the truth. You're out of your mind, kid. That hospital is the safest place in the country. We all make sure it's that way. No! You don't understand! It's, it's horrible! They're evil. They cut us open and dismember people. Yeah, very funny. I saw you all come out from that Halloween store over there. Save your spooks for the holidays. I have a job to do, to keep people who really need it safe. Well, that's... that's just one guy. We can find someone else to tell. Come on, look! There's someone over there! Ma'am! We need your help! The... the hospital! 
sir, would you... Excuse me, we need help. There's someone after us. Hey, the hospital! I don't understand. Why won't anybody help us? We, we just need a new strategy, bro. We need to tell a crowd, if we can find one. Where are we going to find something like that? Look here! That'll have loads of people at it! Come on, let's head there. Do you know where we're going, bro? I live here. I go to college in the city. It has the highest graduation rate in city country town. Wow, I didn't even graduate high school. How are we gonna get up there? There's so many people. I have an idea, bros. Welcome to the October 6016 Music Festival! Today's band lineup up includes Porcelain Creatures, The Holiday Slaughter, Father Father, Envision Lizards, and more! What, what are you doing? Listen, I need everyone's attention. There's something you all need to know. That hospital in the center of town, it's not what you think. You don't know the truth. They brainwash you all into thinking it's amazing that they take care of their patients. It's not true. They don't take care of us. In fact, it's worse than that. They're murderers. Look at us. Look what they've done to us. We've been tortured, dissected like frogs. They operate with giant saws and, and axes, hatchets, steak knives, chainsaws. They get away with this because they control the media. They control what you see. Think about it. When's the last time you ever saw someone leave that place? It's because they can't. They're dead. Well, they may as well be. They don't care about us. They don't care about anybody. They only care about money. Money people blindly give them, and looking good. You all have no idea what we've been through. The horrors we've endured. Why should we believe you? You don't have any proof. Look at us. How our appearance is not proof enough. How can we be sure you didn't do it to yourselves? Do you have any pictures or video? Well, no, but... You're just making it up for attention! Trying to slander the name of that amazing place. I've met doctors who work there, and they're super nice and not horrible at all. Even if it is true, what are we supposed to do about it? It has nothing to do with us. Yes, it does! It has to do with everyone. You, your friends, your family, everyone! It affects all of you! If you go there, you'll never be seen again, too. Somebody get that guy some help! Yeah! No, you, you don't understand. It's the truth. Come on, guys. He's probably just hurting. It's over now, pal. You okay? That seems to make some the better, stronger people. What are you talking about? They're out looking for us right now, trying to kill us. Why are none of you listening? What did I tell ya? You still think I'm crazy. It doesn't get better. Never. No! L let us go! Oh, shut up, bitch! Just get in! You can't do this! You can't do this to us! You never know when to give up, do you? Hi, friends! Sorry for the disturbance. Just returning our lovely patients to a place where they can be safe and protected! Have a lovely day! Well, at least they're finally getting the help they need. Yay! 